Okay, so I am going to show you how to solder. Um, now, for this, you will need your soldering iron with plugged in. It takes a few minutes for it to heat up, um, as well as the soldering iron holder. Now, when the solder's in here, it is going to get hot. Um, the soldering iron gets hot, so you do have to be really careful not to touch it or you'll burn yourself. Um, you can grab one of these to clean um, your soldering iron in. Um, and then you'll also need some flux. You'll need your solder. And you'll need a flux brush as well as some T-pins and a soldering board. So um, you're going to first position your glass pieces, all of them, onto your soldering board. Um, so use your template. Make sure you have all the pieces positioned accurately according to your template. Um, place them on the soldering board and then secure all the pieces um, together using these T-pins. You can use as many as you need. Um, a few tips when using the soldering iron. You're going to keep the tip um, flat and at an angle. Um, and then wipe it clean in this bin when necessary. So mine is heating up right now and has a bit of solder on it. So I can go and take some of that off. Do be careful, it gets hot. Um, and then you're also gonna wanna make sure that there's enough flux on your foil um, to melt the solder. So if there's no flux on here, your solder is just gonna go wild everywhere. So you need the flux to kind of secure the um, solder onto the foil areas. For tack soldering, you're gonna first brush a little bit of flux on the edges of all of your glass pieces. So I'm gonna take my flux and I'm gonna brush, whoops, and it's okay if they move around, you can just put them back. But I am putting, you don't want too much and that the red from the flux will come off when you wash it, but you don't wanna to get too much all over your glass pieces. Um, but the areas, I'm just gonna be soldering, um, this seam here to start to show you. So I'm just gonna start with that. Okay. I'm gonna get a bit of the edges too since I'm here. So you're gonna put flux all across. Oops. All right, so I have my flux um, on my glass pieces. Um, and then you're going to use a hot soldering iron to drop just a little blob on each intersection. So basically, right now, since I'm working on a smaller scale, my intersection is right here but I might also drop a blob kind of right here, 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 um, just to start. So I'm gonna take my solder. And I'm gonna just drop a blob right there um, on the intersection. I might also just drop a blob right here, right here. here and you can see I'm just holding the solder against my soldering iron and then you can see um, I have that once I have that you can remove the pins or you can keep them I kind of like to keep them there until it, um, it's a little bit more secure for the seams you want to I'll show you next you want to brush flex along all of the seams which we've already done um, so you always do that first and then um, with your soldering iron in one hand and the solder spool in the other hand, I'm holding them in either hand, um, you're gonna place the solder point in front of the flat soldering iron facing up. So kind of like what I did. Um, before I show you that, I'm gonna also show you what you can do once you have your solder point here. This is gonna harden up. 
it's hard, but when I put my hot soldering iron flat on it, it's gonna melt and I can pull that seam all the way down. Now, that's not enough solder. I'll likely want a little bit more, but I can do the same thing here. I'm bringing that solder point, soldering iron is kind of tangled here. All right. And notice that I'm kind of pulling that bead down. Um, another option, it looks like I have a good amount of solder here, um, but another option is also if I didn't have enough solder. So let's say right here, I don't really have enough. So I'm gonna just go ahead and I'm gonna move both of my solder and my soldering iron slowly across the seam. So sort of like this. And you can see there, I didn't have enough and now I have enough right there. You can see that I do have enough because the solder should be raised. So it should be slightly rounded like this. So it looks good here, here. This could also use a bit more. Um, and so it shouldn't appear to be just flat. It should be slightly rounded. Um, now I'm gonna do that again here. And if it ever doesn't look right, you can always use that solder soldering iron to move it across, right? If I have too much, same thing goes. But it should be rounded. I'm gonna put a little bit more here. All right, so that looks okay. When you're not using the soldering iron, you're gonna put it back in the um, holder. When you're done, you're gonna wipe the flux off the side before turning it over. Um, I'm not gonna worry about my edges right now. Right now, you're just doing your seams. So neatening the solder, you can clean up the messy area, kind of like how I just showed you by just holding the soldering iron tip flat over the problem area for two to three seconds and then move across. So um, if I felt like I needed, there was too much solder here, let's say I'm gonna put a blob there to show you. So that's a problem, right? I don't want that blob right there. So I'm gonna hold it against and I'm gonna just clean up that area, and that looks a lot better. Um, so once this has cooled, um, I can now take out all the T-pins, and once it's cooled, um, I'm gonna solder the reverse side. Um, when you're soldering the reverse side, you're going to flip it, you're gonna turn the panel over, um, and you'll see that some of the solder will have kind of seeped through to the other side. I'm gonna give this a minute to cool. Um, it will have leaked through to the back of the panel. Um, and so you'll just basically repeat these steps, but on the reverse side. Again, you don't need to worry about um, the edges yet. So I have mine, I flip it. Some, if you have really tight, accurate um, glass cuts, then it then it might not seep as much, but it's okay if some of it seeps through. If you have a lot that seeps through, you can just take your soldering iron and use it across. So you'll use less solder when going over the leaked areas. When tinning the front and back edges, um, you're going to brush flux so let's say I had finished the reverse side um, and I have this side, then I'm gonna just tin the edges. So I'm brushing flux on the edge that I want to tin. Um, and that's gonna help the solder move across. Many people forget to add flux and then they're like, why does it look messy? And it's because 
you didn't add flux. Be careful when doing this. You don't want to get solder dropping on your hand. It will burn you. But you'll add a few, blop, um, a few drops of solder to the foil and um, melt it along the top edges. Um, and then you'll turn the piece over and do the same to the back side. So I can literally just use that solder that I have right there because I have a lot to just tin. And when I say I'm tinning the edges, I'm lightly just adding color. It doesn't need to be rounded. You can see I already have a lot of solder there. Okay, all right. So beading the edge. You're gonna prop your stained glass. So once I have the edges front and back here, I'm then gonna do basically the same. You can drop a bead or if you already have some solder, likely you will, you can just lightly add color that way. Um, now you do wanna be careful because you don't want to burn yourself. Um, do practice safety when using this so there is lead in the solder and you don't want to eat directly after doing this you do want to wash your hands and practice safety um, otherwise that is not good for your health okay so i propped my stained glass on its edge so that it was horizontal and i melted those solder blobs or the extra that i had um, by heating them with the iron I then moved slowly along the sides and the edges, making sure that the solder was kind of rounded, um, creating a be beaded edge. So right now, I don't have a lot. I could add a bit more solder to create a beaded edge. So I'm gonna add a little bit more here. Okay. And then you'll continue to just kind of turn the panel so the piece stays horizontal. So I'm gonna, if it's a little bit more rounded. Um, and then just add more solder if needed, put it on the end of the iron and add it to the edge. So I can even get these little pieces here, pick them up and put them, put them on. 